Yeah, my name is George Wambura. I come from Community Watermelon Consortium. This is the consortium uh, which represent all community watermelons in Tanzania. Uh, we are doing wildlife uh, conservation and also, so that is, so to speak, is protection and sustainable use of the wildlife resources in country, covering around 13% of Tanzanian land, providing additional land to wildlife protection from apart from corporate areas providing benefits and improving sustainable uh, livelihood to the people that live with wildlife as an incentive for them to continue uh, to support conservation initiatives in Tanzania. One is that the community they have been living with wildlife since immemorial time. So they're the custodian of wildlife resources. They have local and traditional me uh, mechanisms to protect the wildlife resources. They are the first line of defense uh, in terms of uh, coming to poaching. Uh, when you talk about illegal of trade, uh, it has some levels. The lowest level is where we have the communities around that. Then we have also the, the shooters that, that maybe come out of the communities. We have the middlemen, we have the transporters, we have the, 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 the employee of the, of the dealers, we have the dealers outside the country. So it's, so it's a syndicate, it's a network. But if, well, if, it's, uh, this, this, if communities are well motivated, so the, the other levels uh, I'm talking about is not going to work because they must work through the community. The community knows where, where the wildlife, they know the techniques, they know how to do that. So if they are motivated, they will not participate uh, or collaborating with the other levels to support, uh, uh, to, uh, to do illegal wildlife trade or, or to do poaching. So it's important that the community should be involved at the first level. More effort should be um, invested in, in certification of the benefits Unlike uh, uh, what is done in most of the government, including some time in our government, you find that uh, a lot of money goes to the boots on the ground, but they cannot be everywhere, anywhere, at every time. So, but the community are everywhere, they are, they are most of the time around these resources. So investing on them, we have a big uh, group of army that will protect you with less costs, and uh, then all life will survive for the future. So remember, the survival of the wildlife resources in Africa, it's on the hand of the people. So the only way is to address the socio-economical needs through the beneficiations, through the balancing also the, the effects, uh, to address the effects of the human wildlife conflicts uh, through certification, but also being realistic that people have needs for, to develop. We have developed some model community development areas where we also take other, other community areas to go and learn so when they go to learn, they get to be motivated that it can work. Sometimes there must be a trust that this thing that we are trying to indulge in, this conservation initiative, is not, a, is not a, a way that uh, is a, a, of grabbing land from the community, but it's the way that of partnership with the government so that the community can benefit out of that. So sharing the successes, it will motivate the community to participate effectively, but also learning, cross-learning, not only within the, within the country, but cross-learning among the regions. For example, we have a program where we are sharing with Kenya Wildlife Conservation Associations and how community, our community can learning and how they can uh, innovate the sustainable use. Uh, it has worked in some areas very well, I can tell you. I think uh, multiple sustainable use need to be in Dutch, both consumptive and unconsumptive. It has worked. There have been a school of thought maybe uh, harvesting and controlled harvesting uh, or harvesting water resources can lead to depletion of resources or accelerate illegal trade. That's not the case. It's a tool. Sustainable harvesting of water resources is a tool for conservation. Conservation or protection of water resources is very expensive. Providing uh, community benefits is, is, is also need money, it's need a smart way of doing that. So sustainable harvesting is provide a mechanism to achieve this protection and also beneficiation to the communities. It has worked. In Tanzania, 80% of community areas depends uh, on sustainable harvesting, that's trophy hunting, that's conservation, hunting for conservation. It has worked. We have a lot of some successes, but also we indulge in, in game viewing and sustainable, I mean, and uh, non consumptive use. In some areas, you cannot do hunting, you need to do photographic. So you need to do the mix. And also we need to look on the, what, are the, what are the community aspirations? What are the community needs for development? 
We need to address them. You do not choose them what are the community projects. The community projects should come from the community themselves. And also indulge in other, I can call it alternative, but they also I think the best way is you can call it other income, uh, non wallet based uh, sources. It's also important because people need some development. So we need also to use the revenue or press of uh, conservation interventions to generate some income to address some other livelihood needs that for the people which are not come from the wildlife.